Hi guys, this is Cy from Cyanine Software. Today I'm going to talk about Jumble, which is our random transform and selection tool in Ignite. It's a utility. So similar to like the scene checker, um, random transform or Jumble is what it's called now. Um, is does a couple of things. Uh, the first part of it, and the top part here and the bottom part, they're completely separate. So um, the top part, what that does is if I select everything here and then say save selection, it's sort of making its own sort of selection set, but it's not found up in here. And what we can do with that is we can randomly select a percentage of our objects. Uh, if we want to clear this selection, that dumps, there's, it's flushed all the data out of there and now you need to reselect some objects. So let me just go save that selection set again. Uh, if I do now deselect and I'm not done yet, I can go back and say select that selection set again. Or I can also give it a random seed on my selection. Uh, you'll get a random seed if you do scrub the uh, percentage as well. Uh, so that is our random selection. Now you can select from a small or large volume. So I'm right now it's selecting all the smallest pieces in my selection set. Um, or I can select all the large volume. So that's our percentage selection tool. Now down at the bottom we have, say you uh, want to actually randomly change, you know, uh, the scale of you know 20% of or 27% of your objects here you can actually now go in here and just change those so it, what it does is it saves you essentially from going around and trying to select randomly a group say you have a big group of trees and you want to sort of rotate some of them or um, move some of them about uh, spreading them out so you have objects that are too close together if I turn off uniform turn off Z Let's say I set this to a negative number and this to a negative number and then go to a positive number and a positive number over here. You can see now that we've just spread out our objects. There was a whole bunch of objects we're touching and overlapping and just a way to spread things out. So this transport tool is pretty useful. Uh, you have some other stuff as well. So um, what I'm going to do here though is for right now, I'm going to go in, open up the springboard. I'm just going to do a hold. And I'm going to reset this scene. So I'm not going to save it or anything like that. I'm going to fire up uh, Ignite again. I'm just going to do a quick fetch and then open up Jumble again. Now, Jumble's going to remember what it was doing. So if I go and say select objects and reset them, it actually knows where their initial um, location was. So if you are, you know, change something around, you want to go back into the scene, it will remember. Until you have done a couple of things. If, you, if this was, if you were playing with these objects and this is how you wanted to really start again, you can say set initial state. And what that'll do is it clears all the data and resets, it, resets these. So now this is its initial state to reset back to. So if you go and change something, say reset object, it's going to change them back to its initial state. And of course you have a random seed for if you have, say, you want to seed the different ways of uh, rotation, movement, and uh, scale. So that's our quick little jumble utility. Um, hope it's useful to you guys. And next we're going to be releasing, it's either going to be the spline or the poly mesh tools. And they're very big and useful. So um, once we get everything out here, this is uh, there's a lot of tools in this. So um, bear with us. We're doing it, uh, getting stuff out. We're trying to do a utility once a week. But um, always check back with us for new downloads. Thanks a lot, guys. See you. Thank you.